What type of house weighs the least? A lighthouse. Anyway, uh, Year 10, UK Economic Development Test, Part 1. Just the first uh, couple of questions on this video. So here we go, question number one. Um, with all of these, it's important to read uh, anything above a figure as well as the figure itself. Study the figure. Yeah, OK, then a scatter graph showing the link between gross domestic product, GDP, and infant mortality. So if we look at the graph quickly, the y-axis, infant mortality, and the uh, x-axis, GDP. Uh, GDP, if you weren't sure what that means, it gives you a massive clue. Cause in brackets afterwards, it tells you exactly what it is. Uh, US dollars per person. You guys will study uh, GNI now, but you could well get a graph which actually does show GDP on it. So we have to study this figure that's now been boxed. Question 1A, draw a line of best fit on the scatter graph. It is likely you're going to get one of these in your real GCSE. Keep it nice and simple. Draw a straight line of best fit. Something that looks like that will get you the mark. You try to aim for a, an even number above the line and below the line. Next question, worth two marks, uh, describe, which means say what you see, the relationship, which means the link between. So describe, say what you see, relationship, the link between. It's worth two marks. So one mark is relatively straightforward. As GDP increases, infant mortality decreases. You will get one mark for that statement. You could, if you're very good at math, call that a negative correlation. However, for the second mark, what you have to do, because it's a graph, is use some figures to evidence it. So literally, say, um, I don't know, countries that earn uh, per person over 40,000 uh, have a infant mortality rate of 10 or less. That proves your point. Alternatively, you could say countries that earn less than one thousand dollars per person have a much higher infant mortality rate of over 50 whichever one you want to go for another way you can get the marks here is to spot an anomaly there is one anomaly particularly that sticks out uh, earning around about thirty nine thousand dollars has an infant mortality rate of 70 so you could write that in your answer and say um, the general rule is as GDP increases, infant mortality decreases. However, an anomaly to this rule is, and make a note of that point, that would also get you two marks. So uh, question C, we're obviously going to need the uh, figure again for this. So let's have a little look what we've got to do. Suggest is one of the more tricky command words. Suggest means you've got to come up with something. Uh, and in this case, you're going to need the so what rule as well, because uh, it's not just a one mark question. We can see three marks there, so you're going to have to extend your points. A reason or reasons, um, my advice for this would be it is feasible to get all the marks here in just explaining one reason, but it, if it ever says reasons with the, the bracket on the S, I would certainly advise doing two. Relationship means the link between, and obviously shown in the figure above. So then, we're going to have to extend our point here. We're going to have to come up with something to prove that as uh, uh, people earn more money, less infants die. So there's several different ways you can do this. Um, we'll start with probably the most obvious one to me, which is if people have higher incomes, they will pay more tax. If they pay more tax, the government can invest it in services. In this case, we want to be talking about hospitals. So therefore, it improves the antenatal or prenatal care. For example, the use of incubators. Incubators provide a sterile um, environment for babies uh, and therefore they're less likely to catch uh, the common cold or flu and therefore they're more likely to survive. Easy, that would get you all three marks. Second one, another way of doing it, um, more tax means that the government has more money to invest in the training of doctors and nurses so therefore they're more likely to spot any um, issues for concern or uh, causes of concern with uh, young babies and as a result they're more likely to act upon that uh, and therefore uh, less less babies would die. The final one here, um, a higher income means that there'll be more money per household. That is, This is going to be more difficult here, but if there's more money per household, it means that parents can uh, invest in technologies, e.g. Uh, baby monitors, to keep a closer eye on the child, so they're more likely to, to act faster if there is uh, an incident, particularly when uh, the baby's sleeping. Secondly, um, 
higher income means that parents can sterilize their house far better they can buy cleaning products e.g bleach uh, and therefore it's a style environment again and as a result of that the baby's less likely to catch the common cold or the flu which can be deadly um, in babies particularly babies born early uh, linking back to the incubator point from earlier so hopefully that makes sense what you've got to do on those three mark questions is really extend your explanations okay next section of questions uh we've got some figures here so big red box to make sure that we're reading that uh showing information about the changing industrial structure of the united kingdom now one thing to, do, to mention here in geography is if you get to a question and you read that and go in changing industrial structure oh this this looks confusing oh i don't, I don't know what i'm doing just don't panic just look at the pie charts it's literally telling you the answer every time it gives you a graph or a photo for that matter so let's see what we've got to do on this one uh, describes the command word which means say what you see changes means something that isn't what it was before now on a change question please 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 use a change word it sounds obvious but if you don't do it the examiner can say that you have not identified a change so increase or decrease would be the ones to be using here industrial structure as shown above in the pie chart okay then this is a pie chart question but it hasn't provided you numbers on the graph that doesn't mean you don't use them it means you definitely do still use them to get the second mark so we look at it i mean uh, a kid in primary school could do this in in 1961 i would say 45 percent of people worked in the services industry now it appears to be closer to 80 percent. so to get the marks you would say there has been an increase in services uh, employment by i don't know 35 percent it doesn't matter if you don't get the the percentage increase spot on in this case because they haven't given you the figures so that gets you one mark second mark look at this what's happened to manufacturing here manufacturing has gone from i would say about 40 percent to 10 percent so you'd say a decrease in manufacturing of 10 percent done of uh, not 10 percent sorry what i'm saying a decrease in manufacturing of 30 percent absolutely fine two easy easy marks we've got to make sure we're getting those if we're trying to push into the grade sevens eights and nines all right b uh let's have a little look what we've got to do here uh suggest which means you've got to come up with something reasons it's a plural you have to give two reasons here if you give one the maximum number of marks you'll get is two changes defined earlier something that is not the same anymore and again shown in the pie charts now this is a four mark question so it comes with its own little bit of exam advice you need two arguments with extended explanations aka the so what rule so can we give reasons why the number of people working in centuries has increased or alternatively why well and i should say why manufacturing has decreased Well, hopefully, yes, we can. So um, an increase in services can be seen because um, people in the UK now have a higher disposable income than they ever have before. That means that those people demand a higher quality of life. They demand uh, products. For, uh, for example, I mean, we could go anything here. I've decided to go down the, the cashier role, but you could say that people with more disposable income demand more services, e.g. luxury or leisure items such as cafes, restaurants, pubs, leisure centres, whatever it might be. That therefore increases the number of jobs in those industries. So a higher disposable income in the UK means more need or demand for products that will get you one mark. So more service jobs exist, e.g. cashier, stock replenishment, that will get you your second mark. What about secondary or manufacturing? Well, there's been a decrease in secondary because of globalisation. That's that idea. Remember that the world is more interconnected now and uh, trade is faster and easier. That leads to de-industrialisation of secondary industries as they could not compete with cheaper foreign imports. Yes, by all means, you could put a specific in there and say, I don't know, Sheffield Steel or the Stoke Ceramic industry. However, the concept here being that secondary has increased, globalisation getting you one mark and probably uh, de-industrialisation as a, just a term would probably get you the second mark. 
but the explanation they cannot compete with cheaper foreign imports. That's your first video done. Uh, make sure you ask if there's anything you're not too sure.